Good evening to one and all. I am Randolph Barnwell, the Senior Elder of Gate Ministries Durban Central. I want to welcome you all to this first broadcast, which is basically an introduction to a teaching series which we are calling the Foundation Doctrines of Christ or the Elementary Principles of Christ. The intention of this series is to explore the range of doctrines found in Hebrews chapter 6 from verses 1 to 2, which the scriptures set forth as the foundation that every believer should have solidly established within the understanding and lifestyles. Now, it has been my observation through the years that many, many sons of God have deficiencies in understanding some of the elementary or basic issues relative to their Christian faith. Many manifest these deficiencies in certain behavioral problems or attitudes mentally in terms of their thinking, even long after they've been in the kingdom for a number of years. It is my conviction that if the foundation principles are solidly established and these are consciously worked at in terms of manifesting them, incarnating them in one's life and behavior and character, that you will not have to contend with certain problems later on as you journey in Christ. Now, it is my heart in doing the series that new believers be anchored in your faith as well as all believers who perhaps can revisit these issues uh, correct any deficiencies in understanding and or for those of you who are reasonably mature it would be good to revisit these so as to arm yourself with the requisite knowledge so as to help new believers become established in their faith. So I teach this also to others who may want to also teach it to others. And so it is with this in mind that I believe the Lord has instructed me to revisit these fundamental issues of the elementary principles of the doctrine of Christ. Now, this broadcast, as I've said, is a very brief and short overview or introduction of the series. The series is rooted in a text which is on your screen found in Hebrews chapter 5 from verses 12 to chapter 6 and verse 3. We are reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. It says the following, For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need someone teach you again the first 
principles of the oracles of God and you have come to need milk and not solid food for everyone who partakes only in milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness for he is a babe but solid food belongs to those who are of full age that is those who by reason of use have had their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of, number one, repentance from dead works, number two, faith toward God, number three, of the doctrine of baptisms, number four, of the laying on of hands, number five, of the resurrection of the dead, and number six, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. The book of Hebrews is largely written to a Jewish community of people. Those who were once, once steeped in Mosaic tradition. Um, they embrace the Old Testament law of Moses and systems of sacrifices attached to establish right relationships with God. These Jewish believers have now accepted Christ by faith, believed that He is the Son of God, and have now entered into the kingdom, not by works, but by faith, in the Lamb of God, whose blood was shed once and for all for the remission of the entire world. And these Jewish believers have been in the kingdom for a long while now. And some of them have subtly reverted back to observing things like animal sacrifices or the rite of circumcision to establish right spiritual relationships with God. And the writer of the book of Hebrews writes to them to correct many of these errors. Part of his frustration, part of the writer's frustration is this, that at a certain point in time he expected these Jewish believers to be at a certain level of growth or maturity in Christ, but they have need to revisit some of the fundamental issues and on your screen, I have catalogued two specific positions. One I call foundation, the foundation position, and the other I call the mature position. And in the text we've just read, he references, for example, that they are still babes, whereas they should be by this time of full age. They still need to consume milk whereas they should be consuming solid food or meat, as some versions of the Bible say. That they still need at this stage, although long in the kingdom, that someone teaches them fundamental issues, whereas they should be the teachers of these issues. And then he also references the fact that they have need of revisiting the first or the elementary principles, whereas by this time, they should be fast going on to perfection. Now, this is the problem of many, many um, sons of God in the earth today. At a time when you should be teaching others these principles, you have need that you be taught again. Some people have accommodated an infantile infant immature position and only love to consume the milk of god's word and have failed to migrate to a place where they consume the meat of god's word or solid food but the writer is very clear here solid food belongs to the to the mature to those who by reason of use that is diligence engagement have had their senses exercised to discern between both good and evil the imperative here in Hebrews chapter 6 is to establish the first principles, which he would call elementary, 
or some versions of the Bible say the foundation. Now the word foundation or elementary is not, does not denote unimportant. In any building, let's say of a house, the first phase is the foundation phase to lay a solid and proper foundation. And the strength of that foundation will determine the height or the weight of the building that could be erected on it. Even a term like elementary, elementary does not mean unimportant. Elementary simply denotes that which should come first. In the South African context, we have primary school, then high school. The American equivalent would be elementary school for primary. That which should come first as a solid basis upon which higher order learning can be established upon. So in these foundational or elementary principles in this teaching series, it is my desire to revisit what the writer calls foundational or elementary principles of the doctrine of Christ. These are the doctrines of Christ manifested in these six descriptors of six themes or doctrines which we will enunciate in a moment. We want to establish a solid basis in your lives so that your movement toward maturity could be easily facilitated. I want to remind you again, the imperative is revisit the doctrines, establish them, but proceed, go on to maturity. Don't camp here. These are essential, but don't camp here. But you have to move on to solid food, a deeper revelation, if you would. But in this teaching series, my heart is to, in a very, very basic fashion also, to revisit these teachings. Um, and I will try to be as basic as possible, not to get into any depth into any one of the doctrines, but just to establish a very basic understanding so that you can have a handle on the most important concepts relative to each of these themes. So on your screen is six doctrines. There are actually more than six, but six broadly categorized in the book of Hebrews that delineate what the writer considers to be foundational. They are repentance from dead works, faith towards God, the doctrine of baptisms, and notice baptisms, even in the text, is in plural, implying there's more than one baptism. And the baptisms are baptism in water, baptism in the Holy Spirit, baptism into the body of Christ, baptism into fire or suffering. The fourth foundational doctrine is the laying on of hands. Fifthly, the resurrection from the dead. And sixthly, eternal judgment. I want to invite you and welcome you as we start in our next broadcast, the first of these, which is repentance from dead works. And I want you over the next 12 or so sessions to track these doctrines with us. I want to create a desire within your heart that you love God's word and establish a solid basis of understanding for your future growth in Christ as a son of God. For the purposes of expediency and efficiency, these teachings will be broadcasted on a Sunday evening at 6 p.m. and a Thursday evening at 7 p.m. And you will find these on the Gate Ministries Durban Central's Facebook page as well as on our YouTube channel. They would also be flighted later on my personal YouTube channel, Randolph Palmel YouTube channel, for your convenience as well. Now, for every session, there will be a set of notes released. And these notes will become available to you free of charge, and they are downloadable from my website which is randolphbarnwell.com. All you do is go onto the website, then go to the resources tab. On the resources tab, just click 
um, PDF documents or PDF teaching documents. Scroll down to foundational doctrines or elementary principles and then you can download under that the relevant teaching. These will be available on the day that the teaching is released. By the morning it would be uploaded. You can download it in the course of the day and I would encourage you to use the note and interact with the broadcast as it is released. My sincere prayer is that you would be enriched in your walk in Christ and that your growth in God would be enhanced and facilitated. I would also like to ask you that if you know of anyone whom you think might benefit from these teachings, for you to share the links with them and to encourage them to track this brief series with us as we go along through it. I know that you will be greatly enriched and great grace and abundant peace will be afforded to you through your engagement with this word. So I look forward to seeing you at the first broadcast this week Sunday at 6 p.m. And I know that you will be greatly blessed as you engage with us. Great grace and abundant peace be yours in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Love you first, your love.